Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for January. I've already done one, I'm going to tag it to the end. This is for any time in January as is the other one. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these and then we're going to use that deck right there. I focus on love and relationships. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then you don't need a tarot reading and you shouldn't be watching this reading. This is for somebody that's struggling in love in some way or they have questions. It's not for the happily ever after married, partnered Scorpios who where everything is good. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got? Couldn't get it much better than that now, could it? Door to romance is opening. Somebody has the key. Bitter patter. Look at the hearts. The hearts are going to get involved. Absolutely. Love all around. It is love all around. It's the answer to your prayers. 33. Your prayers have been heard, no doubt. Oh my God, I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Wow. So is this what you got there, Scorpio? I'm jealous. I am jealous. So, uh, caring connections, wow. Scorpio, you got a new partnership coming in if you are single, for sure, for sure. If you are in a relationship right now, it's probably stepping it up a notch. It is. I mean, this there could be an engagement on the horizon, maybe even a marriage. Either way, there's love. There is absolutely love here. Mm, King of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, geez, some King of Cups reversed. Oh my God. So, oh my goodness. You may be scared. You may not see it. Maybe you don't see it. Maybe you don't see that there's a loving connection. Maybe you're focused on something that you shouldn't be focused on and you're not seeing that there's a love connection around. Damn. You could be throwing away a golden opportunity and that could be because of your own mentality. Maybe, you know, you're emotionally withdrawn. Maybe you feel like you're not ready for love or you're just feeling cold or whatever. You may not see that there's an opportunity. Interesting. This is kind of cold and aloof energy right here. <laughs> now this is happiness. There's an opportunity for a coming together, a joining together, maybe even in marriage, like I said, of a, a really a lot of happiness. There is an, there's, a, there's a chance for a lot of happiness here. A long-term commitment but and it could be between you know with an earth sign a Taurus Virgo Capricorn it could be with another water sign too, Pisces Cancer Scorpio but it's like you're not focused where you need to be focused you may have your defenses up you know your guard is up And maybe you've been used in the past just for money or for stability. And that's why your guard is up. Maybe you're shut down to this new connection that has arrived or is arriving. Open your eyes, okay, because you may miss it because of your own fears, your own inability to master your emotions. You've got to master your emotions at this time. If you have not met this person yet, you might meet them at some sort of get-together, okay? Because this is like a celebration. This could be a wedding, could be a funeral, could be an anniversary party, any kind of get together. You could meet this person.
But right now you could be fighting with somebody. You could be fighting with somebody. Somebody's going to get stung. By it. Somebody's going to get stung. Oh, goodness gracious. So, and maybe you have been stung. <laughs> maybe you've been stung in the past by somebody who used you. And maybe this person was just with you for the money and the stability and the security. And now you're really afraid of commitment. You're really afraid to open your heart to somebody else. Is that what this is? You don't want to, you don't want to play any games anymore. You don't want to get stung again. Freaking hurts when you get stung, doesn't it? Whew. Yeah, you're afraid to sacrifice. You don't want to get yourself involved in a false foundation because you were in one and you may be in one now for some of you. There's a false foundation that is, you know, you're afraid to sacrifice yourself. You are. Something came crashing down or, or it is crashing down right now. There could be a commitment that is crashing down. There could be. Or, you know what I really feel? I feel like this is something that has already crashed. I think it's already crashed. And you have an opportunity for a new connection. But I think you're afraid of it. You're afraid of it because you don't want to get stung. Lack of hope. You don't have any faith in, in love at this point, right? Is that, what, is that what this is? There's no faith. There's no hope. You've lost your inspiration. It's like you're not, you don't feel like you're going to receive any sort of blessing. You're not allowing blessings into your life. Damn, Scorpio. Ah, reality check. It's time to accept the reality of what this is. Stuff, the tower removes people from your life that are toxic. It, it cleanses people from your life that are no longer needed. You need to wake up. You need to see that this, is, this happened for a reason. You need to see this as it clearly is. You have a new opportunity for love. For those of you that, I don't know, whether it's definitely for singles. If you are coupled, you could be in a situation that is uh, unrequited. You could be in an unrequited love situation that you are stuck in, perhaps because of money. I don't know. If you are coupled and you have another opportunity waiting for you, that's what it kind of looks like to me. Um, I see, I see a broken heart there though. There's a broken heart here that is, is hindering you from success, but there's an opportunity for success, for victory with a connection. There absolutely is an opportunity for victory and success, perhaps with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's pretty clear. I think you got an earth sign that is a really good match for you. I don't know who this earth sign is, but it's a golden opportunity here. There's an opportunity for stability and security with somebody that is really, really loyal and has their own money. But right now you're holding on to a burden. You're holding on to some baggage from the past that needs to be dropped. You have an opportunity for a new connection here, but you've got too much going on right now. You're holding on to something that you can't. It's not allowing you to see. It's covering your eyes. you got to drop it. You're not seeing that you have a better opportunity here. You're not. You're clouded. Your, your eyes are covered by the load that you're carrying. You're not seeing it clearly. You're not. And it's time to wake up. It's time to see it clearly. Oh my gosh. I'll just bring that in a little bit more. So you right now have a have a new opportunity for love. You absolutely positively do that could lead to victory. But you're holding on to something. And I know I'm gonna get a comment that says, I'm not holding on to anything. Then this reading isn't for you. Somebody's holding on to resentment. They're holding on to the pain. And you can pretend all you want that you're not, but the universe knows. 
right in the middle. This is the universe. You can't fool the universe. You might be able to fool the rest of the world, but you can't fool the universe. There's fear of sacrifice here. There's fear of being used for, for financial gain, money, uh, security, you know, just to have somebody. There's a lot of fear of just being used. Hmm. And I feel like you're you're like in defense mode. You're in defense mode when you're really having a golden opportunity waiting for you to accept it, waiting for you to see it. Whoever this person is, they're very, very loyal waiting for you. This person is waiting for you to see what they have to offer. But you you're you're not even you can't it's it's like Whatever this is, you're, you've, you've already passed it. You're, you, this is you down here. You've already passed this opportunity. It's like it's, it's behind you now. This opportunity, it's like you've missed it, but, but it looks like you still have an opportunity. You've made a bad decision. You've made a poor decision to hold on to something. You need to drop it. You need to let go of something. And it is. It's the truth. Something from your past. And you have an opportunity to reunite with somebody that you probably knew as a child. But the memories of the person that hurt you are hindering this new connection. You have an opportunity for love here. You absolutely do. With somebody that you knew as a child. I know. I know that's what this is. But you're going to have to make a call. You're going to have to accept the truth. You're going to have to wake up. You're going to have to um, release the old. Because the, the judgment is releasing. You're going to have to forgive the past. Judgment is forgiving and releasing. It really is. See, he's rising up. You see? Take a look at this card. Rising up to live again. You have an opportunity to live again. Forgive, release, accept. You have a new opportunity here. You absolutely, with somebody from your childhood. It is somebody that you have known before. Whether it's your childhood or somebody in a past life, it's somebody that you've known before. This is not an ex. I know it's not. It's not an ex. And I, I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. It's not an ex. It's the ex that you're holding on to. It's the person that hurt you and stung you that needs to be let go. I don't want to confuse you like a lot of people do. This person is somebody that you have known before, but it's not the one that has caused you to feel so overwhelmed. It's not the one that stung you. It's not the one that caused you so much tension in your life. It's not the one that used you. No, it's not. It's somebody that is going to make you feel alive again. It's somebody that has the key to open your heart, but you've got to let them get to your heart to open it. You were dealing with a player in the past. You were as my player card. And you're still, you gotta let it go. Drop it. So that you can see that you have something that is so much better. But you're throwing away a golden opportunity. It's like you've lost your focus. You've lost your, lost your concentration. You've... Uh, getting distracted by who knows what there's a distraction here it's like you're you're just allowing yourself to go nowhere it's like you're stuck you're blocking this door you're blocking this caring connection it's a blockage you need to focus on living again 
You need to focus. There's a lack of focus on releasing. There's a lack of focus on forgiveness. You need to focus on just acceptance, forgiveness, and release. Right now, you're, you're just shutting down love, and that's the Knight of Cups reversed. I mean, that's what that is. It's like I'm afraid to get into a, a loving relationship. You're trying, it's like you are. You are definitely trying to protect, protect yourself from getting stung again, right? Refusing to see the opportunity that's being presented to you, but it's time for a change. The Wheel of Fortune, it's time. Free will plays a part, but you haven't, you, right now you are being given an opportunity to change your life, to change your destination, to change your course. Drop, drop. Drop, drop the heavy burden, drop the, the, the past, drop the load, drop the baggage so that you can see that you have something much, much better. Whatever happened, there was a purpose for that and now you are being given an opportunity for something really good. This is good fortune, but free will does play a part. So the, 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 the destination is really in your hands. Right now, the universe is giving you an opportunity to close a chapter, because this is a chapter, closing a chapter. It's a tense, a completion, to complete one phase of your life. You're being given the opportunity right now because you have a new connection that is going to be presented to you. You can choose to take it or you can choose to stay holding on to something that is going to kill you. It's time to walk away and don't look back. Good, good things are on the way. They really are. Whatever happened, happened to bring you closer to your life's purpose. To bring you closer to your soulmate. To get you ready for this connection. To get you ready for this victorious connection. But you're attached to the wrong one. And you need to heal. Son of a bitch. I mean, come on now. You got a person here that wants to come into your life. You just got to open your heart and see that you got to let go whoever, who, of whoever stung you once and for all. So in January, you are going to be presented with a opportunity for love. My advice is take it. See it. Open your eyes. Detach. Detach from the darkness, the gray area. From the mat. Take the mask off and accept. Break free. <clears throat> There's an opportunity for love. Let this person in. That's my advice. Talk to you next time.